Hi, I'm Maisie Williams and I'm here in London for Net-A-Porter's Fashion Challenge. First challenge. It's Friday night and you're planning a trip to the theatre with friends, followed by dinner and dancing. Pick an outfit to see you through the evening in style. So in the evening, I do tend to go with something fitted and if I can't find something fitted, then I'll go for darker colours. Something like this is really great. It's fitted and it's also dark, so two for the price of one. I've just now noticed these, which are the matching set. Basically didn't need to style it because the designer did that for me. The black on black, it could do with some color in there somewhere. Something like this, I like where this is going. Um, and now we'll get a jacket. Yeah, this is a good evening jacket. Okay, I'll go and put this on. Yeah. I love it, so I don't care what you think. But we need to pick some shoes. We want something that's gonna balance this top half out. Knee high boots. Very chic. Easy to dance in. I feel really comfortable. I feel confident. I just feel like me. I dig it. Okay, challenge two. You're heading to the airport for a well-deserved week away in the sun. What do you wear to take you straight from the plane to the beach? That's a hard one. I like being really comfortable on the plane and the beach, so okay, that's, that's fine. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we've got some shorts. It's got a matching coat. This isn't really giving beach, but when I fly on the plane, I like to wear a big coat so as I can sleep and people don't take pictures of me. <laughs> so this would be really good for that. It's got a big lapel, a big collar, and I can doze to my heart's content. So let's stick with a tank underneath. Muscle Beach, LA, I'm seeing it now. I'm not gonna really know until I have it on. Okay, so I've gotta be honest with you guys. If I was actually going from the plane to the beach, I'd probably just wear yoga pants and a hoodie, put my swimming costume and my hand luggage. But this is the heightened version of what I would actually do. And I love it! <laughs> I love this version of myself! At the airport, it would be good to do some sensible shoes. Okay, I like the way that this is being broken up, but... These aren't suitable for the beach. So we need a bag that we can stuff these into. This is the biggest one that we've got. Put something a little bit more suitable for the beach. These inside. And I will use something like this. Oh, not you. <laughs> Actually, you're quite nice. So you don't get burnt on your face or your body or anywhere, because I'm literally a vampire. Maybe you will come with me. And this little bag is great. I'll need to be able to get my boarding pass, so I'll keep it all in here, and then I'll keep this inside here. It's like a Russian doll of handbags. This is my plane to beach outfit. Now, challenge number three. You're hosting a round table talk on women in film. What do you wear to feel powerful but comfortable? I feel like we should get into the suits. So we have this rust colored number which actually looks really good with my skin tone. And I have no idea I've ever worn this color, so I'm kind of into it. But it is bold, and you never know what your backdrop is gonna be, so. <laughs> I just think that this color is timeless. So I'm going to start here. Um, I think that I'll go with something like this. Oh, I can't wait to try this on. I think that it's gonna be special. Okay, does it look kind of like um, the suit that he wears in the mask? Maybe I just want it to look like the suit he wears in the mask. I love it. The power suit, it always makes you feel good. You can <laughs> gesticulate and not worry that like something's gonna slip. I threw on these little white flats because we're gonna be sitting down. When you're doing a round table, <laughs> you need to keep an eye on the time. I think I'm gonna go with the gold one. You just see a little flash of it every now and then. The watch makes it. Thank you very much for watching. That was my fashion challenge. 